I'm trying something different today. I'm using my phone as a camera. So, <laughs> we'll see how this works. It's on a sort of holder. It's a little bit wobbly, so I'm sorry if it gets a bit wobbly. I'll try to keep it still. Today I'm going to do some Story Girl. Look, we're nearly through. Only a few spreads left now. So I'm just trying to decide what to do today. And <clears throat> just wanted to speak a few words about COVID. <clears throat> um, this book is a container for my COVID journey. And even though I'm coming to the end, it's far from over, isn't it? I mean, it's brought about so many changes. And for example, I'm in New Zealand and um, we're right at the end of the supply chain, so to speak. So we're having supply problems now because container ships, they have to have a turnaround for their business. They have to put, they literally have to unload and load as quickly as they can you know for their business and so when they come down here if they can't get into our ports because our ports are smaller so they'll come down to the local port to me which is Littleton and I can actually see them um, from my window because I can see, got a view onto the ocean and they're waiting around and there might be five waiting to go into Littleton and um that might take a few days. So what they're doing is they're saying, oh, sod that. I can't, oh, excuse my language. They're saying, oh, let's just go to Australia instead. We'll go on to Australia, dump it all there. And then it's their problem to get it from Sydney to New Zealand. And that's what it's like because we don't have the buying power. You know, we don't have enough people here. And so, yeah. Things come so close and then they go to Australia and then we have to get them from Australia. But um, obviously it's not my problem, but it is because it means if I want things, um, you know, there's a waiting time. For example, there's a huge waiting list for heat pumps, which is what we use to heat things over here. Um, and once the stock runs out, there'll be no more for, I don't know, four months. But anyway, that's not such a bad thing. Um, we're coming into summer. But um, yeah, COVID is having a huge impact. And that's just one thing. There's lots of other things, isn't there? But anyway, today I'm going to do a spread and I'll come back when I know what I'm doing. I didn't explain that properly. What I should have said is that the reason that they're turning around and that it's taking days is because of COVID. Because in our ports, like everywhere, you have to be careful. There's all extra protocols with COVID. Um, but it means for us that because we're small, we just, we, you know, we can't compete. But anyway, enough of the woes. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that today I'm going to have a bit of fun. And I'm going to have a play with this lady and I'm going to make one of those puppety things where you um, make them so that they can speak a bit like um, Monty Python Terry Gilliam used to make those kind of models and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this page I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to get a a tab <laughs> you'll see as I do it, you'll see what I mean. Also, I found this, which is so cute. This was um, tofu from a tofu packet. <laughs> and I thought, oh, look. So what I thought I might do, it says handcrafted in New Zealand. <laughs> so I might use this. Can you see? Have I, have I got it out of shot? Ooh. I'm going to use this anyway to make a little pocket and put something in there so that's the plan at the moment so I'll finish having my cup of tea and then I'll get back and hopefully show you all these different the different stages haha -ha! 
So what I've done is I've marked out a square <laughs> on here. And as long as I keep my work within this square, you should be able to see it on the phone because the phone's actually above my eye line now. So yeah, just giving it a trial run. It also means I can work more comfortably. So hopefully this is gonna work. So I've cut her out. So now what you need to do is you need to make an incision along the edge of the mouth, half of the mouth, where the lips meet, and then down and around the chin, and down again. So you make a little cutout. That's what I'm going to try and do. <laughs> Normally I might um, put this on a bit of card, but since it's going in the book, I think it's fine. But I am going to reinforce the little mouth bit, so I'm going to stick it on a bit of card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick her onto the page, and I think I'm probably going to use matte medium for that because I'm going to want to paint over her and matte medium is really good for that. But before I do it, behind her mouth, I'm tempted to leave the words in, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it black, a black patch, so it's, you know, I could even put teeth in. <laughs> Actually, I might put teeth, that might look funny. So what I'll do is I will draw the outline so I know where it is. what the um, blacked out mouth looks like with the teeth and I've deliberately made it bigger than it needs to be so that there's an overlap when you're flapping when you're moving the mouth up and down. So I've actually used Mod Podge in the end um, because the matte medium that I've got is very watery and it makes things crinkle. Um, she has crinkled a little bit <laughs> but we'll ignore that. Um, so the next thing I've cut her mouth out of the reinforcement of the card and now we need to think about a tab so it needs to be that width so that it can move up and down through the mouth and I'm going to make a slit there so that it can move up and down so that's the next thing that I'll do um, so I've got my handy travel cutting mat which is basically just a bit of lino and I'm going to make a slit just here I think that's right yes so the lowest part of the mouth will be there and it will move up and down so let's make a slit And this, yep, there we are. All we have to do is put this on there. Now, to put this on here, I'm going to create a hinge with a bit of washi tape. And I'm going to use the strongest washi tape that I have, which is not this one. This one is rubbish. Do you know what it's like? It's often the more expensive ones, isn't it, that is better. So I'm going to sacrifice some of my beloved music notes and I don't even remember where I got them from <laughs> but this tape is pretty strong and it's nice and small so hmm, how am I going to do it like this a nice bit on there oops oh I'm getting all gunged up oops so it needs to hinge at the very end. Hold it like that. There it is. Silly. Hold it in here. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> My sad. Wow, 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 wow. And I think what I could do, and what I will do, is I'll disguise this. If I make this the same colour as her face, then it look more realistic. <laughs> yes. So then what I need to do is, see now, here, this can go all wonky. And what we'll do is we'll make a little bracket to hold it. And the next bit, which I forgot to do, of course, is you can remove her eyes <laughs> and then you can give her beady eyes. So that's what I'll do next and I'll come back when I've done it. Now, when you cut her eyes out, you want a really, really sharp knife so that you can do it. And you will end up probably with funny edges. Don't worry about that because you, you later we'll go in and we'll paint over that. So that'll look fine. It looks a bit spooky at the moment. But what you will do is you will put eyes and it will look side to side. So yeah, but first of all, I'll need to measure this. I don't want it sticking out too far. So I'll probably snip it there. Now, because you're watching this video, you won't do what I did. <laughs> um, so what I did was I decided that I would reinforce this prong. But having reinforced it, I now can't get that bit through the slit. So really, what you should do is you should paint this background bit before you start fiddling. So anyway, but it doesn't matter. This is what I'm gonna, <laughs> I've just put a background bit here and I'm gonna paint this sort of flesh color. that's drying I'm going to show you how to do the quickest pocket ever and very very easy so you can do it all with washi tape so you will need or oh, actually double-sided tape as well but you will need strongish washi tape again tends to be the more expensive this is my beautiful mushroom one which I really love oh Ooh. There you go. Lovely, isn't it? Anyway, it's nice and sticky because it was quite expensive. Is it back in focus now? Oh dear. There we go. So, snip this crinkly edge off. And all you need to do is put half the width of it on the bottom of your box, uh, bottom of your pocket, the thing that's going to be your pocket anyway. You can see what I mean. See, that's half. And then I'm just going to trim. Messy, messy. There we are. See. Then, working quite quickly because it's going off now, isn't it? Sides.
so I've almost finished. Here she is. She's got the um, the guides, if you like. I stuck those down with double-sided sellotape and then I put washi tape to reinforce it. And her mouth moves like this. Hello. And the eyes are quite fun as well. So I thought, I don't want to leave this like that. It looks a bit ugly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hinge because I was thinking I might need to come in and fix it at some point so I don't want to actually stick something on but I'm going to hinge this and then I'm going to find a way of holding that down I might use paper clips so here it is finished and <laughs> you can see yeah, so I go like this and my mouth goes, hello. Ew. <laughs> anyway, I think it's funny, but there you go. And so I've painted in the background out, and as I was looking on the page, I found laugh. Let me see if I can get that closer for you. Let's see if it will focus on it. And there you go, laugh. So, yes, you've got to laugh. And that's the only thing that keeps us going when all of this awful COVID stuff, and for me it's been other stuff as well, and I'm sure it's the same for everybody, it's not just COVID. It's the usual. COVID just adds to the usual stuff that we have to go through. We have to go through so many things. Yes. And so in here, whoops, sorry, I just knocked the phone. Okay. I found a quote by fabulous Ricky Gervais because he always makes me really laugh. If you can laugh in the face of adversity, adver well, I can't say it, adversity, you're bulletproof. And it's true because. That's what you can do sometimes. Just laugh. And life is always going to have troubles. So, <clears throat> on this side, I put a postcard, like I said, and I found these little dinky little paper clips, which I think are fun. I'm using those to hold the Hold the postcard down. I could even journal on there if I wanted to. Maybe I will. But for now, this is it. This is the spread complete. Let's put this one on. And there she is. Oops. Your eyes look. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed this little video, and. Please subscribe, like and come back soon. Stay safe and have lots of fun arting and laughing and doing silly things. Thank you so much. Bye.